everyone. Welcome back to the math office. Today we are going to talk about the law of detachment and the law of syllogism. Let's look at the law of detachment first. The law of detachment basically says that if you have a conditional statement that's true and a hypothesis that's true, then the conclusion is also true. Now, your conditional statement is going to be a general statement, not referring to anyone or anything in particular, usually. Your hypothesis is going to be more specific than that. Let's take a look at what I mean. Here we have a conditional statement on the board. If you run every day, then you get good exercise. Now, notice this is just a general statement. When I say you, I could be referring to anyone, basically. Now we have a more specific hypothesis to go along with that. Emilio runs every day. So what can we conclude about Emilio if he likes to run every day? The answer is Emilio gets good exercise. Let's look at those two statements again. If you run every day, then you get good exercise. Now Emilio runs every day, so Emilio gets good exercise. That's what we can conclude by the law of detachment. So that's a quick example of how to use the law of detachment. Now let's take a look and how to use the law of syllogism. The law of syllogism says that if you have two conditional statements and the conclusion of one is the same as the hypothesis of the other, then you can conclude that the hypothesis of the first one implies the conclusion of the second one. I know that's a mouthful, so let's take a look at an example that will hopefully clarify this. Here are two conditional statements on the board. If you live in Cleveland, then you live in Ohio. If you live in Ohio, then you live in the Buckeye State. So we can use the law of syllogism to take these two conditional statements and simplify them into one conditional statement. Let's take a look at these two again. Notice that the conclusion of our first statement is the same as the hypothesis of the second statement. They both share the same phrase. You live in Ohio. So what we can do is we can remove the conclusion of the first statement and the hypothesis of the second statement, since they both say you live in Ohio, and then the two parts we have left over, we can combine into one conditional statement. This is our conclusion based on the law of syllogism. So if you live in Cleveland, then you live in Ohio. And if you live in Ohio, then you live in the Buckeye State. We can simplify this, and our conclusion by the law of syllogism is that if you live in Cleveland, then you live in the Buckeye State. So that is a quick example of how to use the law of syllogism. Now let's take a look at one more case where you can use both the law of detachment and the law of syllogism at the same time. We're going to have one more example up here on the board, and we're going to use both the law of syllogism and the law of detachment to reach a conclusion. We're going to have two conditional statements and a hypothesis. So let's look at these. If you play football, then you play a sport. If you play a sport, then you're an athlete. Tony plays football. So let's see what conclusion we can reach when we use the law of detachment and the law of syllogism. We're going to use the law of syllogism first. Let's look at our two conditional statements. Now notice that the conclusion of our first statement is the same as the hypothesis of the second statement. So as we saw earlier, we can remove these two parts, and then what's left, we can combine into one conditional statement. So we can remove you play a sport from both statements and say, if you play football, then you're an athlete. So now let's take a look at what we have left. Now we're down to one conditional statement and one hypothesis. If you play football, you're an athlete. Tony plays football. So at this point, we can use the law of detachment to make a conclusion about Tony, since we only have one conditional statement and a hypothesis. Let's take a look. Our conclusion will be that Tony is an athlete. Since Tony plays football, we can conclude by the law of detachment that Tony is an athlete. So there's an example of where you're going to use both the law of syllogism and the law of detachment at the same time.
All right, that's all the time we have for the math office today. Uh, I have a train to catch, so I'll see you guys later.